Blissful morning everyone. So today magre-review tayo sa book ni Price. So sa chapter 1 muna tayo, Introduction to Personality Theories. Number 1, the term personality comes from the Latin or a word na persona meaning theoretical as a time mask. Number two, personality is a pattern of relatively permanent blank dispositions or characteristics within an individual that gives some measure of consistency to that behavior. So, number two, correct answer is traits. Number three, a theory is a set of related assumptions that allow scientists to use logical deductive reasoning to formulate testable hypotheses. So, number three, theory. Number four, Theories are most closely related to blank, a branch of philosophy that deals with the nature of knowledge. So, number four, epistemology. Number five, the field of study concerned with observation and classification of data and with the verification of general laws through the testing of hypotheses is called, number five, science. Number six, a blank is a classification of things according to their natural relationships. So, number six, sonomy. Number seven, a hypothesis is often defined as an blank guess. Educated. Number eight, the psychology of blank is a discipline of psychology that studies the personal traits of scientists. So, number eight, science. Number nine, a useful theory must be blank which means that research must be able to either confirm or disconfirm its major tenets. So number nine, falsifiable. Number 10, the law of Parsimony states that the blank of two theories is preferred. So number 10, simpler. Number 11, the most important function of a blank is to generate research. Number 11, theory. Number 12, and blank definition is one that defines concepts and units in terms of specific operations. Number 12, operational. Number 13, teleology is an explanation of behavior in terms of blank rules. So number 13, future. Number 14, a reliable test will yield blank results. So number 14, reliable. Number 15, a test that measures what it is supposed to measure is said to be blank. Number 15, valid. So, punta naman tayo sa true or false. So, number one, useful theories are founded on both speculation and scientific evidence. So, number one, true. Number two, the word personality comes from the Latin persona, meaning a mask or facade. Number two, true. Number three, personality refers mostly to those characteristics that a person projects to the rest of the world. So number three, false. Number four, the terms theory and hypothesis are synonymous. Number four, false. Number five, philosophy is a broader term than theory. Number five, true. Number six, the terms theory and educated guess are used interchangeably by scientists. Number six, false. Number seven, epistemology is the branch of philosophy dealing with the nature of knowledge. So number seven, true. Number eight, science is the branch of study concerned with observation and classification of data and with the verification of general laws. So number eight, true. Number nine, theories should be viewed as impractical but interesting speculations. Number nine, false. Number ten, theory is broader term than hypothesis. So that is true. Number 11, taxonomies are dynamic and general, generate a multitude of hypotheses. So number 11, false. Number 12, a theory should generate multiple hypotheses. So the answer is true. Number 13, a cyclic relationship should exist between theory and observation. Number 13, true. True. Number 14, the psychology of science studies personal traits and of personality theories. Number 14, false. 
15. A useful theory of personality should be falsifiable. So 15 through 16. Personality theories should avoid being influenced by their own personalities and backgrounds. Number 16 through, I mean false. So 16 false. Number 17. The psychology of science investigates ways in which personal characteristics of scientists influence scientific theory and research. Number 17 through, Number 18, the value of a theory rests mostly on the personal characteristics of the theory to develop it. False. Number 19, if a theory is falsifiable, it has proven false. Number 19, false. Personality tests may be reliable but lack validity. True. So let's go to multiple choice. The word personality comes from persona, which originally meant Number, letter A, theoretical mass. Number two, psychologists are most likely to agree that letter D, nano -theops. Number three, a pattern of relatively permanent traits and unique characteristics that give both consistency and individu individuality to human behavior is called letter A, personality. Number four, which term should be most closely associated with the word theory? Um, letter C, science. Number five, a theory can be defined as D, a set of related assumptions that generate false testable hypotheses. Six, which statement best reflects the relationship between theory and hypothesis? B, a single theory may generate several hypotheses. Seven, a Hypothesis is best defined as D, an educated guess or prediction. Number eight, taxonomies are letter A, systems for classifying data. Number nine, what is the relationship among theory, hypothesis, and observation? Letter B, theories generate hypotheses that lead to observations that may alter the original theory. Number 10, the ultimate value of a theory is its the usefulness. Number 11. A theory should be open to disconfirmation. This refers to the theory's ability to D, be falsified. Number 12. A related, of, a related set of if-then assumptions would constitute a C theory. Number 13. The in sub Discipline of psychology that looks at the personal traits of scientists is called letter A, psychology of science. Number 14, although scientists are influenced by their personal characteristics, the usefulness of their work, letter C, judged by their scientific product. 15, a useful theory should letter E, all of the above. 16, an internally consistent theory, letter D, includes operational definition of its terms. 17. A theory that is as simple as possible is B. Parsimonious. 18. An explanation of behavior in terms of future goals and purposes is letter D. Teleological. 19. A test that yields consistent results is said to be C. Reliable. And 20, a valid test, letter A, is also reliable. So these are the correct answers. So there are challenges here. Uh, she should uh, answer it briefly. Number one, define theory and show its relationship with A, philosophy, B, specific speculation, C, hypothesis, and D, taxonomy. Number two, explain the interaction among theory, hypothesis, and observations. Number three, list six criteria of a useful theory. Number four, list and discuss the six dimensions for a concept of humanity discussed by authors. Number five, define reliability and validity and discuss at least two types of age. So there you have it. Nakapag review na tayo sa chapter 1 natin. So, kindly click the link para sa inyong review.
references. And thank you so much. Can you follow me on all my social media platforms? And eventually, we'll probably get a gold jewel. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Mga kalagasi. Bye.